I stumbled across this very interesting Reddit post. The criticism here is that a lot of packages advertised in the Flutter 2.10 release video either don't exist, are discontinued or aren't compatible with Windows at all. The whole thing made me curious so I did some research myself. In this video I would like to go through the packages with you and present you my research results. Starting with the package Serial Port. A Dart extension library to communicate on Serial Port. And as you can clearly see, this package is Dart2 incompatible. So why was this package even mentioned? Well, there's another package called Serial Port Win32, which they should have named instead of this one. So for connecting real devices by Serial Port using Windows, just use this one. Next one is Biometric Storage, which is an encrypted data store optionally secured by Biometric Lock. And this one also has Windows support, so everything is fine with that one. Then there was a package called USB, which does not exist, but there's a package called Quick USB, and this one has Windows support. So if you need a cross platform USB plugin for Flutter, then just use Quick USB. With LiveKit, they probably meant LiveKit clients. Although we have a confirmation for the Windows support, you can see there's actually no functionality and no features which are already implemented for Windows. We have only features that are work in progress or are not available. I'm not sure if this is the best replacement for this package, but maybe you can try out Dart VLC. A Flutter Media Playback Broadcast Recording and Chromecast Library based on LibVLC and LibVLC++. Next one was Objectbox, a Flutter database for superfast, NoSQL, ACID compliant object persistence. Everything is fine with that and we have also Windows support. With Network Info they probably meant Network Info Plus, which has Windows support. A Flutter plugin for discovering information like the Wi-Fi details of the network. Then we have the package Share Preferences, the Flutter favorite and one of the most famous packages of all time. Everyone should know about that package. This one only was spelled wrong and yes, this one has Windows support. Next one is the package Maps, which has no Windows support. So maybe they meant the package Map, which has Windows support. A map widget for Flutter written in 100% Dart which supports every platform. There's also no package called OCR, but there's a package called Windows OCR, a OCR library that allows developers to easily embed high quality optical character recognition functionality in their products. Next we have device info, which is discontinued, but there's a deprecation notice, which links to the new package device info plus, and this is the one you should go for. Then we have the package system tray, which enables support for system tray menu for desktop Flutter apps on Windows. Then one of the best packages that have been mentioned, MSIX, with this one you can create an installer for your Flutter application. With WMI they probably meant the package device info windows, which uses WMI to read information about running processes from the underlying Windows operating system. Sentry is a crash reporting library for Dart and for Flutter we also get Sentry Flutter and this one has Windows support. With gRPC we get a Dart implementation of gRPC, a high performance open source universal RPC framework. And with System Clock we get Flutter timekeeping facilities powered by Dart FFI. The package TensorFlow Lite is also Dart2 incompatible. The only replacement I could find for this one is TF Lite Flutter Helper. Easy, fast processing and manipulation input and output of TensorFlow Lite models. There's no package called VLC, but maybe you should go for Dart VLC FFI or Dart VLC. 
With Screen Capture, they probably meant Screen Capturer. This plugin allows Flutter desktop apps to capture screenshots. And with Acrylic, they meant Flutter Acrylic, Window Acrylic, Mica and transparency effects for Flutter on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. The package Path Provider has Windows support, but keep in mind that not all methods are supported on all platforms. With Agora, they probably meant all the packages out there from Agora, but as you can see, there's not a single one that has Windows support, so I ask myself, why did they mention that? A replacement for that could be Flutter WebRTC, but also here, not all functionalities are supported under Windows. There's no package called Printer, but there's a package called Printing, which is probably the one they meant. And this one has also Windows support, a plugin that allows Flutter apps to generate and print documents to compatible printers on Windows and other platforms. Next is Realm, the official Realm SDK for Flutter. Realm is a mobile database, an alternative to SQLite and key value stores. Keep in mind that this one is in alpha stage. Then we have Win32, a Dart library for accessing common Win32 APIs using FFI, no C required, probably one of the most useful packages for Windows. There's no package called Hotkeys, but there's a package called Hotkey Manager, which has Windows support, and this plugin allows Flutter desktop apps to define system in-app-wide hotkeys. File Picker is a package that allows you to use a native file explorer to pick single or multiple absolute file paths with extension filtering support. This one looks very promising, but in case you need an alternative, just use File Picker Windows. Notifications has no Windows support. We have desktop notifications, which seems to support Windows, but in the documentation it says this one only makes sense for Linux. And then we have local notifier, but I'm not sure if this is a good replacement for notifications. Couchbase is Dart2 incompatible, but there's a package called CBL, which seems to be a good replacement for this one. Also, there's no package called drag and drop, but there's a package called desktop drop, a plugin which allows users dragging files to your Flutter desktop applications. Next, we have PDF Renderer, a Flutter plugin to render PDF pages as images, also on Windows. Then there's file selector for opening and saving files. Icon Batch, which is a simple Flutter icon widget with Notification Batch to show the amount of items. OpenGL, which provides FFI bindings for Dart. WakeLock, which allows you to keep the device screen awake or preventing the screen from sleeping. And Barcode, a barcode generation library for Dart. I couldn't find any package called Custom Window Chrome, not even something similar, but with BitsDojo Window you can create custom windows and customize properties like the title bar and many more. Instead of EXP TRK, there is Flutter EXP RTK, which is a FFI wrapper for the EXP TRK Mathematical Expressions Toolkit library. Firebase Auth was mentioned, but as you can see, there is no implementation for desktop, but there is a package called Firebase Auth Desktop, which is a desktop implementation of Firebase Auth. The package WebView is Dart2 incompatible and no longer maintained, but there is a package called WebView Windows, which is an implementation of WebView for the Windows platform. There's no package called Credential Manager, but there's a package called Flutter Windows Vault, which is for reading and writing data using a Credential Manager. The package OpenPGP has Windows support. 
Connectivity is discontinued, but you can use the package Connectivity Plus, a Flutter plugin for discovering the state of the network connectivity on Android and iOS, but also for Windows. Instead of the package Battery, which is discontinued, use the package Battery Plus, a Flutter plugin for accessing information about the battery state. WebRTC seems to be not maintained anymore, but there's the package Flutter WebRTC, which at least partially supports Windows. Instead of Share, which is discontinued, use the package Share Plus, a Flutter plugin for sharing content via the platform Share UI using the Action Send intent on Android and UI Activity View Controller on iOS, and Windows is supported as well. The Flutter favorite URL launcher is available on all platforms and this plugin is for launching an URL. And last but not least we have the package Window Manager which allows Flutter desktop apps to resize and reposition the window. To summarize, the packages mentioned in this view are indeed mostly expired and no longer maintained, but many of the packages mentioned were simply called by the wrong name and they are relatively good replacements for most use cases. Still, I would have liked to see a bit more accuracy here when you announce a release and sell the ecosystem as a big advantage for Windows app development, you should also make an effort to title the references correctly. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you very much for your attention and see you soon.